This show really is something else. Yo, what's good? It's a board you reviews and heavy spoilers for JJK season 2 episode 21, you have been warned. So it's been some time since I last talked about JJK and I spent the entire day just catching up on all the episodes I missed out and I'll do a separate video talking about those episodes but I think it's for the best to talk about the recent episode as a separate vid but I have to say this off the bat JJK is a once in a lifetime experience these episodes leading up to this latest episode have just been unbelievable and it's just left me in shock particularly this episode I might sound calm throughout the entire review as I am still processing what I just witnessed it's left me in a little bit of shock but without further a poo let's get on with it so i'm just going to talk about all the things i loved about this episode so earlier on in the episode toto kissed a locket around his neck and i was wondering what that locket could be i knew it was going to be takada as that seems to be the one and only person he holds dear to his heart but to my surprise and amazement Itadori Yuji was also in that locket, showing us how Toda really cares for this dude. Even though Itadori at first wasn't so keen on Toda, he gelled with him instantly back in season 1. Itadori Yuji is the long lost brother that he always wished for. And back in season 1 when Itadori Yuji gave him the answer he wanted, a brotherly bond was created like one we've never seen before. Which leads to a sequence of Toda imagining Takada and himself fighting together to take down Mahito. The whole thing is so spectacular spectacular and completely fits Toto's character and I love the moments where he and Takada are about to shake hands and it cuts to him slapping Mahito where Itadori switches places with him and I do like how Itadori doesn't falter throughout the entire battle, keeps a stern expression and is focused and confident which is really nice to see considering what Sukuna did in the previous episodes and how defeated our boy Itadori felt. He felt like his life wasn't worth living anymore because of all the deaths but Toto giving him that light of hope encouraged him to keep fighting for another day and I love how even though Itadori sees that Toto is really injured and he may not survive that isn't enough for him to stop the fight keeps going and you just love to see that confident Itadori Yuji. Mahito is able to find the true essence of his soul which takes shape and he completely transforms into an instant spirit of distorted killing and that name truly fits the image of his new form. It's a walking nightmare in my opinion considering all the pain and suffering Mahito has caused in the previous episodes yet at the same time the design does have a coolness to it. Probably from the abs it does remind me of an action figure which fits Mahito's personality. Despite his appearance he does seem like a child on the inside. The episode has some wicked animation sequences Despite what's going on behind the scenes at MARPA, the animators were still able to deliver a really visually stunning episode. I love the scene of Itadori, Tony hawking down, Mahito's idol transfiguration worm-like spirits and of course the main final clash between Mahito and Itadori. Those impact lines of Black Flash look like he was ripped out of the manga, really slick. And Studio Marpa, just like with AOT, are really notorious for creating wild facial expressions. And after he defeats Mahito, our boy Itadori is in a state of darkness. I like how we have a shot off the side of his cheek where Sukuna's mouth usually appears but this time it's just Itadori normal mouth which is a great indication of Itadori's mental state. This boy is not a happy camper in this moment telling Mahito that he will continue to take him down over and over again. As he tells him this Mahito is just looking at him in fear and Itadori is quite scary in this moment. I thought Sukana possessed him once again but no this is all Itadori and after all the death and destruction he's seen in the past few episodes he has to do what he has to do to prevent any more disasters from happening. I like how the scene changes to a snowy wilderness. I do like this because it kind of shows us that right now Mahito is feeling like a prey running away from its predator and that becomes more apparent when you see Itadori walking alongside wolves which cuts to Mahito running alongside bunny rabbits. The whole thing is very unsettling and Itadori doesn't have that shine in his eyes anymore. It's sad to see but the dude is out for the kill. Nobunanga Shimazaki voice performance was absolutely phenomenal in this moment where he's just throwing snowballs 
slash dirt towards Itadori, wanting him to get away. I couldn't help but marvel at the irony in this moment. Mahito always found joy in terrorizing others, but when someone else is terrorizing him, he acts like the victim. And once again, gotta give props to the animators at MAPA for the expressions. But JJK, this episode was phenomenal, and I'm quite torn on whether or not this show should be anime of the year, as there have been many, many, many other shows that have done just as well. But tell me in the comments down below, what did you guys think of this episode of JJK? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Like for more JJK videos, thank you for watching. Board to the view, Sanyat.